Head on over to G2A and enter Kami's Crystal Cave to get some sweet deals on crystals and more. Remember to click on the lowest price and use the promo code KAMIVS to get the best deal. G2A. What's going on everyone, Kami here, and we are on the PTS. That's right, if you don't know how to join the PTS, that's probably good for your sanity, because the PTS is nothing but uh, just depression, sorrow, and sadness. Those are synonyms, I know, but I just wanted to make sure to get the point across. It's kind of rough on there sometimes. There's a lot of people just want to test out the new things, and one of the new things is Zin. Not that new, usually there's a new champion, it's just all locking in new champions. But Zin got a nerf. Nerf in the sense that his base movement speed on his billow got reduced a lot it went from 30 percent to 10 percent now to compensate that they made it so up in smoke now does i believe 11 percent per yes when it used to not do as much so to counteract it you can run up in smoke but the thing is, is a lot of people ran up in smoke already so overall they're gonna feel it a little bit but for someone who doesn't play zen that much i've been playing a bit recently it still feels okay we're gonna do a run with up and smoke at a five, and then we're gonna try a run without up and smoke, because some people like to run without up and smoke, and you're gonna see how awful it is. But the first game, we're just gonna start off, try to have some fun without up and smoke being, or with up and smoke being at a five, and then, and then we'll just try it without it. It'll be fun, I promise. Mr. Zen. Oh no, I just knocked my hot tamales off the ground. Help me. Am I gonna die? All right, Kai, we gotta jump on here in a second. You ready? I'm going in hot. I'm dead. I should have billowed. Ooh, that was a good Yomi hit. Watch it. He's a professional. Thank you, buddy. Oh, they're just all cheating. Oh, no. Guy's got to warm up. He, he doesn't have the right name. It's Man Buns, but he's got his old name because this is like three months ago. Is, that, is uh, Koga still up here? I mean, he could be anywhere, really. I don't know why, but I expected a grab. Behind us? Not anymore. All right, I'm going to be up top. I'm going to try to stop it. One more! No, I'm not gonna have it quick enough. Oh, you hooker. Oh, this range sucks for him. Koga's here. Whoa! We haven't really needed a billow yet, so been able to test it out too much. Whee! Touche. Great minds think alike, I guess. Oh yeah, I mean, this movement speed seems fine. Hit me! Oh no, you stepped into it, dude. It's, he's just kidding. He's pissed. Where is my homie? <gasps> they come up behind us? Kind of? My lack of alt usage makes me a sad panda. It's an ult pretty late on, but we take those. So overall, I really feel like I'm not noticing too much of a difference on this nerf on Zin. Now, this does mean that you have to invest. I mean, like if any of you Zins out, main, Zins mains out there are really paying attention to how fast we're moving on our billow. This feels relatively fast. This feels almost equal to what I play at on the on the main server. But I think on my main server, I play it up and smoke it at three. And you know what? There's a small chance I just don't play at at all because level three is equal to about base movement speed. So you could run it at a one or two and feel really fast. Level level two is pretty much equal to level five currently. But still. Uh, you can still sacrifice a few points here and there. I don't know how important it is. Not like all your points are used perfectly, but just sacrificing a few points and still running how he currently is would be really annoying. 
I found a con. That did no damage. Am I running guillotine? Enemy killing spree. Try to regroup over here on the right side. Help out Q. Nice. I'm going to try to touch point. Oh, no. I touch point, but still got a kill. Oh, I couldn't billow fast enough. Okay, didn't need her counter. Hello! Where's that Koga at? Koga's dead. Genos is might be boned here. Yeah, just shoot her right above that big boy. Sometimes you just gotta abuse those paladins at boxes, you know? Behind us, Koga? Koga deadsies? Can you do a little damage to that? Never mind. There we go. Guillotine worked. There's a mover. I like these Genos heals. They make me feel good. That works. So his damage is still there. There's nothing really crazy going on. It's just this billow, you gotta sacrifice a few more points into his loadout to make it work, and I just... Coming from a person who bans Zen and Torvald every game in rank so far, just purely out of I don't want to deal with them, I don't think it's enough for me to not want to ban them. At least Zen every time still. So rejoice Zen mains, I guess. Really when I think about it though, I don't like the idea of taking something out of a base kit and then being able to supplement it just by putting loadout cards to make it good. Now that could just be because people are used to playing that way and they want to continue to play that way, but it really feels so necessary when you feel the base movement speed of the, of what it is. Um, and what it's doing is, is it's eliminating any customization with the, with the loadouts. You're nuts. I'm going to go touch point. Pray in the shield, in the shield. We Gucci. We will pull the trigger if we need to on our Q, or we'll just add a combat regen and be ready for this next fight. Nice. Should be able to get this Grover unless he has an ult. Reloading. No, don't do this to me, Daddy. <laughs> oh, we're good. We're good. Ooh, that's not good. Gotta touch a point. No, oh, I couldn't touch it in time. That's my bad. The Genos is back here. I wonder if he'll come back and fight me. <laughs> Peekaboo. Oh, the burst came out too quick. I thought I'd be able to kill this in before I billowed. One more shot. You know how we do. They're pushing right side. Pull back. Jeez Louise. Now right, we lost our Genos. Okay, you're mad. I see. Oh, no. How are you still alive, dude? I figured you'd be taking a lot more damage than that. Oh, God, I'm so dead. Drop! Oh! 
Oh my god. Perfect dodge ever. Son of a bee, dude. Looking for a grab. Let's say no. See, they push here in mid. Oh, I have no idea. Hello. I thought you wanted a party, Genos. No, I'm crippled by resilience. Hello, Grover. Mm -hmm. Come on, come through here. Ooh. Shoot it! I was just kidding, you didn't have to shoot that. <laughs> on a side note, I hope that someday that they change it to where if multiple people try to do the mountain jump, that it works better. And it doesn't break. Oh no! What is. Oh! Get him, Kai! Oh. I'm going in hot! I'm outies! Oh hey, that's good. Where are they throwing from? Top right, right? There's dead Grover, yeah. Hello! You're already dead. <gasps> I'd be able to get a spin kill. I was gonna get a spin kill there. I was gonna swing and then spin, I swear I was. Best waifu. Confirmed. Zin, zin, zin it to win it. Uh, I am not actually going to go into another game, but I am going to go into the training ground real quick, and I'm going to show you guys what base movement speed looks like without the loadout. It's not. This person says fun down here. That's the opposite of what it is without having up and smoke in your loadout. So let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. So here's a silly one that I had built that just went highly with your counter cooldown. I still love this card. It's so funny, dude. But anyway, and this is what billow speed feels like at base. It's pretty bad, right? So what, what's happening is, is yes, you don't have to run it, but like, are you gonna do things as, I mean, Zen's thing is about mobility and the amount of movement speed that you lose or that you gain through it is nothing. Like, it feels like I'm just running. Like, here's me running and then here's me billowing. I, I barely notice an increase. It's because it's only 10%. Now, of course, if you grab Nimble and stuff like that, maybe this will feel a little bit better. Let's give it a try. So here's what it feels like when I'm running with Nimble 3 instead of Nimble 1. And here's what it looks like when I billow. It feels a little bit better, right? But then if we turn around and get guillotine with our with our standard loadout and then we have nimble three and then it looks a little something like this and like the amount of space you can cover is huge could you play around on having it yes but you'd have to always be in your corners to be able to get around but the amount of distance you can cover it's just it's so good to have it in there so taking it away from the base kit putting it into a loadout card by buffing the loadout card that does the same thing of the base kit that you took away from it makes it so you pretty much have to run up in smoke and that just remove some diversity with the loadout you know there you, you know there's some loadouts in this game that are just mandatory but in general this is a nerf to zen because he's forced to put more loadout cards into up and smoke and even if they already have five points into it now they're going to move a little bit slower making him a little bit less squirmy which is probably one of the biggest complaints about zen is one he has an alt that can delete people even a tank no one likes that that's kind of lame they nerfed that by making him not cc immune or i don't think he was ever cc immune but he's not damage immune he's just like uh what is he damage i don't think he gives any damage reduction either no he just he just deletes people but people still get irritated by that because sometimes you can just find a tank like we found the con and we're just like hey look there's a tank no oh no the tank's not there anymore we don't like him and then he was very squirmy and this eliminates the squirmy part and i think they might need to look into guillotine i mean maybe i'm wrong maybe guillotine's not as strong as i think it is but being able to delete a person all willy-nilly is huge. I believe you do five hits 
with guillotine. Well, you do five hits with your ult. Duh, 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 and you do the fifth hit. It's it's 125% of their maximum health each hit. So the healer needs to heal a crap ton, a crap ton. Whereas if it just did 20% per hit, or maybe he just did four hits out of it, then that'd be a little bit better. But still, if, you, if he ults you and you're not full health, you still get, it's whatever. I don't know. You look at it how you want to look at it. But I, I do think Zim was nerfed a little bit, but was it enough for I'm not going to be banning Zen 100% of the time when I'm in a ranked game or just trying to first pick Zen? Then no, I don't. I don't think Zen's really been touched that hard. Let me know what you think down in the comments, but for now, I'm going to head out of here. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm not going to be one of those people who asks you to like and subscribe, so I'm not going to ask.